Medieval Shopkeeper Simulator is a game about keeping a stall in a nondescript medieval village. The game starts by you creating your male character. I would have loved some boobs as a choice, but I was happy about being able to make my very own red afro dude that loves unicorns. That was awesome. Then comes the tutorial, then you're just kinda left there to figure it out on your own. This game is most similar to... There are quite a few shop simulator games, but none exactly like this one. I would say the closest one would be Shopkeep. The positives. Very well made. The game is early access, however it felt like I was playing a fully finished product. It is fun to find the wealth of items available to you by crafting workstations, upgrading your yard and buying from travelers. I am sure that you can also fish in this game, but it is something that I haven't tried myself and very recently the game has introduced farming, but I was never rich enough to buy the plot for myself because I prioritized upgrading other things, woe is me. No time restrictions! About how long the day can last. Your character does have an energy and a food meter as a way to stop you from doing absolutely everything in one day. Food meter depletes as you talk to customers, energy meter depletes as you do crafting. Both recover when you sleep and progress a day, but it means that you can open your shop, afterwards go gathering, take a tour around the currently small village, then do your crafting and then finish the day at your own leisure. The negatives. I think the tutorial should either lead you through the purchasing of your free stall or just grant you your stall. I got mighty confused when I approached what I thought was my stall and it said this is not your stall. Then I thought that free spaces are for me to build a stall somehow. They're actually there for me to place crafting workstations. Afterwards I thought that maybe a stall is somewhere else? Then I saw a free advertising board saying free stall. Took that. Went to my merchant's book. Thought it was already fully mine. Failed to find it in the game world, eventually figured out that I actually need to activate it in order to be able to open it up in the game. Double issue. My stall should have more spaces, but at the same time customers should not demand items that are not on my stall. You can't press don't have this item on a customer who wants to re-roll their desire, but eventually when you have a lot of items, they will inevitably request something that you don't have twice in a row, which happens quite often to me. If I purchase and grow potatoes, to then bake them, I should not have to have a stack of baked and unbaked potatoes. The customer should know that I'm simply not offering the unbaked ones. At the very least, let me protect some things from being offered to customers so that they could at least stop asking me for my workstations. Yes, I built myself a cooking station. No, I'm not crafting five of them for you. The controls are awkward in such a slight way that something will just feel off but you won't be able to put the finger on exactly what. My biggest issues is tab for inventory as opposed to I and being unable to just grab the stack of items out of my chest, but rather having to withdraw one, five or ten at a time. Also cannot deposit the whole stack, instead having to drop it one item at a time. And if there is a free space of my bar, followed by an item that I'm currently crafting, the craftable item will decide to take the second space, and I will have to drop both stacks on the floor to then pick them back up in a way that would make them stack as there is no way for me to just grab and drag them to where I want them to be. Overall, despite the issues and the fact that this game is early access, I would say Medieval Shopkeeper Simulator is the strongest shop simulation game currently on the market. It is in a good state as it is right now and I would give it an 8 out of 10. Hopefully by the time it leaves early access it is a 10 out of 10. Normally I would advertise caution on early access title, but this game could be considered fully playable title as it is right now, especially if you just want to make stuff, sell stuff, pay taxes and upgrade. So yeah, highly recommend. It is up to you to decide whether the negatives are worth it. Either way, the game's not very pricey, so it's at least worth following it. Thank you for watching.